Welcome Libra. This is your weekly reading for November 26th through December 2nd. I hope your Thanksgiving was grateful and scrumptious and you were safe on Black Friday if you choose to do that. So focus on the cards for me. And Spirit, what would you like for Libra to know, pay attention to, or be aware of from November 26th through December 2nd? Libra so I am available for personal readings I do have short wait times right now now I also do a free reading every month so check the description box below and it'll show you how to enter for that all right Libra let's see what we got for you we have the high priestess in reverse the Sun in reverse the four of swords in reverse the king of swords the Hermit and the Two of Cups. Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay. I feel like you're trying to ignore something. Okay. I feel like you're trying to ignore this week or get through. This is a good time for you to pay attention. This is a good time for you to be perceptive. I feel like you don't want to change your status or your thoughts about something, okay? Because you feel that it's not that you're passionate about it. You have reason bef behind the things that you're doing, and that's why you feel that way, okay? Your problem is going back and forth over something, okay? I feel like you're trying to get over a hurdle, but it keeps coming back. The pain, the issues, um, the people. There's something that's reoccurring and you're just fighting through it each time instead of fixing or resolving. It may not be time, okay? But the high priestess comes up in reverse, so that means that you're dealing with something that you found out, okay? Trying to follow your intuition and see where that takes you. Okay, because at this point, I feel like there's something like secrets or deceit that you're trying to get through. With the, queen, with the king of swords being here, you're really, really trying. Okay, you're trying to find the most reason in a situation or the more reasonable ways to do things. I feel like you don't want to let it go. I feel like it's something that's important to you. And you would love to keep it going, but you're having a hard time reasoning things out. You may be even ignoring it slightly. There is a disunion. Um, disunion is separation. So this could be cheating, this could be lying, this could be taking from. Um, it's something that was the focus of your life kind of something that was a truly important to you that is not in union with your plans your thoughts or what you wanted you're doing a lot of thinking the hermit shows up because it's about wisdom analyzing a situation and figuring out how that serves you so you can move forward this may have to do with a breakup or you may choose to break up or someone may choose to break up with you and that's because something needs to change Okay, it could be someone pushing to you, telling you that something needs to change or you're feeling like something needs to change within the situation. And that's why you're so such in deep thought here. You don't like being separated from yourself. You don't like feeling like an outsider. You don't like feeling like something is, is wrong and you can't resolve it or you can't find the reasoning behind it. This could also be the energies of the, the person that you're dealing with. Okay. Yeah, it's, it may have something to do with your finances. It may have something to do with the security feeling of your life and feeling like that is being separated. I feel like you're keeping a lot of stuff inside, especially with the hangman coming in up. You're dealing with it inside, but you're getting restless and want change. Okay, you may choose to separate. Take a moment. There may be some fights. But if someone decides to separate from you, I see there someone taking a passive approach, okay? Someone is stepping back and not trying to take control of the situation. 
And this is just distraction from what the actual issues is and what actually needs to be worked on. It's almost like you put a band-aid on it and expect it to heal. You have to suture the wound. That's the feelings that I'm getting for you, Libra, okay? <clears throat> so let's take a deep breath and inhale divine knowledge through opening the heart and mind and exhale the old issues, conflicts, and struggles of the week. We have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation and failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Exactly. So no matter what has happened, and it feels like it escalated, I feel like <clears throat> for you, it feels like it escalated really quickly. It went from not knowing or zero to 100 very quickly, okay? And I feel like this feels like a failure to you, almost like you have to readjust, and you do. This is gathering or giving you that wisdom to deal with it, okay? Or it's showing you that there's a deeper situation here. The reason why there was lies, the reason why there was deceit, or the reason why there was <clears throat> secrets are because there was an underlying issue that needs to be resolved. The Ten of Pentacles is here even though it's in reverse. That tells me that even though there's an issue or you're feeling separated physically, that you can turn that around. But it's going to take wisdom and it's going to take reason and a spiritual understanding of situations, okay? All right, oh, and then we have empathy. Empathy is about looking at the other person's side. Now, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that the other side is trying really hard or doing the best that they know how, but you know, everybody cannot fix a situation overnight or themselves overnight. There may be long seated issues that need to be dealt with, generational things, okay? So you have to be open to seeing both sides. It's going to take time to develop and that's what I see. That's why you're spending this time in your mind to gain that wisdom, okay? So thank you so much for listening, Libra. <clears throat> I will see you again next week for more self-discovery. Love and light to you. Bye-bye.